example. Like, Pepper's a human, but it's not. It's called a humanoid robot. Well, it's a robot that is four feet tall and a little and has a little information that I mean a little more information than you. So it's really smart and it's also um, it's created in Japan and it's created in 2004. So what can it do? Like walk or jump or snap? Well, it can do all the basic fundamentals like humans do. Like it can walk, talk, run, and all. It can feel emotions and like ha have anger and have sadness, oh, curious, sometimes cautious, and also happy. So, so let's. So it's like if it have all the feelings. Yeah, kind of. Cool. And what is the inside paper like? Will you put paper apart or do you break paper in your half? Uh, well, now let me explain. Okay, so inside Pepper's body there are different and several computers that co and pins that control it so it can give answers to the person who asked the question. Ooh. So that's why it is so intelligent, right? You're awesome. So what Pepper cannot do? What Pepper cannot do? Let's talk. So, like, what you know, when bad guys come to your house and they sneak into the house, they're gonna steal everything, everything, every and single thing. And normally, you get your phone and call the police, or maybe throw the bad guy out of your house. But what if the bad guy gets your phone, and right away, he steal or she steal everything that he wants to, or she wants to steal, and everything and right that, away. And everything that is important in your house. Like. And especially the, Things that you can communicate or and electronics. So and so and when bad guys come, our door guard can call the police, but you know what? The pepper can call the police. He cannot even do a single thing. And sometimes it could be even in sleep mode. So that's the bad thing about pepper. So what do we want to make our life safer. So we thought of an idea to make a door guarder. And it looks like a normal door, but it's not. It's a super special door. It is a type of door that keeps you and your family super safe. Don't need to worry about anything. And it can block all kind of rocket or missiles or whatever. And when the bad guy shoot rockets or a laser or whatever, they only break one at a time. And after one break, another one will come out. So it's like infinity layers. And so how Pepper related to the door guard? So both of them could sense emotions by voices. For example, Julian today is very sad because he got bullied. <laughs> And the fish is the door garner or and the pepper. Uh, sorry, Frank, they got bullied by a mean, mean, big, big boy from grade seven. What did he do to you? He punched me in the face and kicked me on the you know what part. Aw, uh, that's quite sad. So let me tell you a joke. Um, do you know what two times two? Uh, equals four. That's yeah. Kind of sense. Now you you, you feel feel happy. Hmm. You tell me another one. I still feel a bit confused by a joke. Well, uh, so that's what happens. Well, well. So the dog guard and the pepper will make the people stop being sad. But sometimes, well, it make the it will make the people um not. 
happy or maybe confused or don't know what is it doing? Well, let me give you another example. The example times two. Oh, I got a good boy in school. <laughs> A grade seven. He kicked me in the you know what part, and then he punched me in the face. So let me tell you a funny joke. Okay, why does everyone feel sad? Mm, I don't know. So let me make it more funny. Why does everyone laugh? Uh, because they're happy. Yeah. Then why don't you get happy? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, and both of them have artificial intelligence. The, but both of them, the artificial intelligence in, in them is different. For example, Pepper's artificial intelligence is to give information, like an uh, important project. And the door guarders, the door guarders artificial mm -hmm. intelligence is that it could sense if you're a good guy or bad guy or the owner. And after the door guard is made, we'll be super good friends. And it will make a very big company and a lot of money. And maybe they two will join together and make a, a new invention. And the, both of them look like humans, but this one don't. This one is just a normal uh, another kind, and this a lot of the ones look like. The truth is, this one is a prototype. And and some of them also look like humans, just like Pepper does. And both of them can argue a lot. <laughs> like, for example, when two people are arguing, the door guarder or the Pepper will help them out. So let's, let us give you an example. Hey, you big fat mouth. What, why don't you agree with me? This is an awesome plan for our social studies project. But it's not. Useful, you don't get it. No, you so don't get it. It's okay, just work independently and you'll find a way. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. How does the door guard look like? The door guard basically just looks like, look like it, like a door. And, okay, let me tell you guys how does the, the door guard work exactly. The door guarder works like this. Um, first, pretend I'm the owner of this house, I'm proud, I'm like, duh, 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 duh. and then like, I, I press the owner button, and it's gonna be like, and then, and then the door guard will be like, owner button pressed. Now, please put your finger into the scan, please. Okay, I use my thumb to scan. Beep. Your scan is successful. Let's do the eye scan now. Beep. Your eye scan is successful. Now, you, you may enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if the owner likes soft, press um, these buttons. If he likes um, singers like MJ, Elvis Presley, and all the, and so on and so on. Also, mm, let me give you an example how guest does it. Well, the guest presses the button and then it's going to say, you selected guest. Now answer five questions. And then the five questions is set by the owner and it's all about the owner. Like, what game is the, what was the owner's favorite game? And blah, blah, blah. You guys might ask, what if the, mm, like they answered all the questions wrong, they, then, it's gonna have a uh, this some like it's gonna have the whole body will st start to scan that person and then once they find that person's identity and find if it's the owner's friend or is it not the owner's friend then they if it's not the owner's friend they're gonna activate their police alarm and cages will appear and lock lock him up and and sound the police alarm but if they scan it's a good guy, it's the owner's friend, then it's going to open imme immediately. Let's say Anish is the owner's friend and it's in the door guard. Action. Oh, I'm the guest. I'm his friend. What, what, what is 
the owner card? Uh, well, I don't know. So what is the owner's favorite game? We didn't tell me yet. What is the gender of your friend? Uh, boy? Uh, sorry, you answered wrongly. So, let me scan me, me. You are called Anish. Welcome to your friend's house. Yay! I can go and play with Juliet. Hello! Hi! Okay. So, Juliet, what is this over here? Well, mm, this is like, if you, this is a doorbell. If you ring the doorbell, then the owner will hear the doorbell. The doorbell is super duper loud. And then the owner will go here. It's gonna the owner's face will pop up there. And then if, and the owner, if it see if it is his friends, then he's going to open the door. And then the friends could his friends could come in. And, and also the one here is for the owner to see outside. And the one here is to let the guest to see who is in there. And to see the owner's picture, so that they know if it's it is their friend or is it a uh, or is it if they go to the wrong house. So let us start with a uh, point that what it looks like. Um, it it looks like a normal door, but it's not. It has a lot of sensors that scan your eyes. I told you just now. When your friend. I scan and all those other scans. It has alarms that directly call the police. And if you try to break it, it will still have a in between com communication with police. And, and there's, there's a, a cage at the right bottom of the door, which could activate. And the first, that was separate, and the and the electric. And there will be first there will be a, uh, a lot of electrical parts coming out from the door to I mean, coming out from the ground so that it will cover the bad guy. And when the bad guy is going to use all its weapons to get, to destroy the bars, the cage will have a uh, will have an arm which could take all of his weapons away. And. And if they try to separate the bars away and make it bigger, they can't because they will be shot because the bars are electrical. You feel shocked like someone has made you move a lot, move and shake hardly. What things paper could do but the door guarder cannot? Well, we also call this the disadvantages of the door guarder. It can give information um, when you're doing um, research, like you have a project and it's due um, next week and you don't know anything about it. And if you ask the door guarder, like I'm the door guarder and he's the little child and he's going to ask me information. When, mm, when is Justin Bieber born? I can give you the information because I am not. I don't have a lot of information, but I can tell you if you're a good guy or a bad guy. So, fine. Okay. So it can't always can't always play with you um, because it also needs to sometimes guard the door because it's the main part of the house. Like, um, pretend he is the three-year-old child and coming to ask me if he can play with me. <laughs> you ready? Come and help me if you can. Sorry, little Julian. I can't come and tell you because I can't move. So that's the problem. Oh, <laughs> Mommy, the door guard won't play. Feet, it still can't move. You need to 
stick on the ground so that well so that's um, or else the cage cannot activate. So now Julian, the one, the guy beside me is going to tell you what's the price and why should you buy it. First, let me, first before I talk about the price, so I'll ask you guys some very extremely simple questions you guys will be answering. Um, well, it's like this. Who will like, um, who will like bad guys running in the streets of New York saying, hands up, give him all your money, I'm not going to harm, I'm going to kill you, ha ha ha. And you have no choice to only give them money. So who will like that? Nobody. No one? Me, I like. Oh, what does my daughter care okay, about you, Jeremy? Um, who, <laughs> and who wants bad guys to rob all their money and everything they own, everything they have? No. You want it? I will kill them. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so enough of the questioning. Um, then you guys should buy our door guard a pepper. It's just some waste of money. You guys to buy a computer to replace pepper, which costs less than pepper. And our door guard is unreplaceable. Unless you find a security guard to guard your front door every time, which costs a million every hour. So who wants to spend one million every single hour just to let a policeman guard your door? No. Mm, nobody. They guys should buy buy our door guarder, but only costs eighty yuan, not eighty dollars. Eighty yuan. And the first one buy will get a uh, ten ten free lottery tickets to win and uh, to win one million dollars U.S. dollars. One million U.S. dollars. And the second one buy it will get a seventy five percent discount. Third one buy it will get one free day on the Lamborghini ride. Woo -hoo -hoo. Mm -hmm. So who wants to buy our door guarder right now? Me. So I'll tell you guys what I'll tell you guys. After this presentation is over, guys, I'll buy our door guarder right now. Right that millisecond, right that second, and right that minute, right that hour, and right that day. So go buy our door guarder right now. And before you guys go, I have some question time. Anybody? Okay, send the hole. All right. What if like they are twins? Like they may like look similar or may have like similar DNA? What do you mean by they look like twins? Can you explain it like more? Like what what if like they look really alike? Like what if like they like how like similar DNA, like what will happen, like, like, because like, it's not like, extremely like, some people in the world like have similar DNAs, right? Uh, some people they have similar DNA, but not the same DNA. Well, I have a friend here called Kieran. He got the exact same, like he looks really like me. Lots of people get confused, but we even, we have similar DNA. But then we only have similar DNA. We don't have the same DNA, so it so it can sense even similar DNAs. Like pretend Kieran wants to hack my house, which is impossible. He tries this, I scan, it still will fail because this, because the the door guarder is very specific on every single thing. If every single thing is gonna be very very specific on, so then it's impossible to be a mix of DNA. Okay. How about if your kids want to get in, but you, the, the kids don't have a password and you have a fingerprint? Well, they can do the guess. Uh. Well, what if the bad guy uses a special thing to break the to break beside the door and steal away the door guard and go in the house? Well, the walls beside the door guard, you mean? And like. I don't think you guys have noticed this too. This door guarder is actually connected to the whole house. So any mobility of the wall, of the window from outside, is going to activate the door guarder sensors. And also, just also a brand of the door guarder which looks like a window. And it could be any shape of the window. Hey again. How about if the kid is only like three years old? If 
it, it's three years old, um, the owner or the dad can see through this window. And also, a three, and also if, if a three years old is playing outside going home, it of course needs an adult supervision, or else it's not going to be safe. How about he sneak out? If he sneak out, then it's his fault. It's not the door guarder's fault. Yeah, and actually the door guarder has a very special thing that at least three-year-old, two-year-old, and one-year-old. Thank you for watching our presentation. Bye-bye.